I don't know. Oh, oh, oh no, no, I have it every time. It's brand new to me when I'm in it. See, the, the, the thing about it is, is that your thought process is all wrong. You, you don't believe in yourself enough mm -hmm. in order for you to be the guy that she desires anyway. Right. So even, even if she was a virgin, she would think something is better out there because you don't carry yourself as the guy that she desires anyway. Mm -hmm. That makes sense to you, caller? I think so. I think so. Oh, uh, all right. Short, quickly, uh, uh, quickly uh, relay what you just said. Um, not being confident enough in myself to be that guy that she sees as that guy, regardless of everything else that's happened. Like, and she know, doesn't need. To, she doesn't need to see it. You, you got to understand. You never, you never wait on a woman's validation or look for it. You, you are the guy, regardless if she feels it or not. Mm -hmm. You need to see only you need to see it. You. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 But, but call her, call her, call her, call her. Hold on, call her, call her. I, I, you were about to say exactly what you were insecure with. Uh, can you please? Could, you said you're insecure about something, and you got cut off. What were? What yeah. is your insecurity yeah, yeah. Um, specifically? It, I mean, it, it's mainly um, her. Like, like I think I did mention it. Uh, it. It's mainly her sexual past and her. So well, it's, no, 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 no. Stop, like, stop, stop, stop. Are you so? Are you you? Are you? You think you your dick is smaller than all the other dicks that've been inside of her? You think you can't fuck as good as the other guys that fucked her? You think even when she's fucking you, she's thinking about a past experience? What is it? It's, it's that, that that she might be thinking of somebody in a past experience in the midst of sex, uh -huh. and also um, I think with women it's more mental than physical, like as far as like sex. So like if a dude, you know. So you think another man might still have her mind? Overall, but you think another man might still yeah, have her yeah. mind sexually? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, now, hold on, hold on. Now, let me ask you something. Mm -hmm. Did you know, right, that there are that there are men out there that fuck women in a certain way, fuck their minds and fuck their bodies to prepare them for their husband? You're Did you know? That? I I don't understand. You don't understand. Okay. See, the, you see, the problem that a lot of men have is that <clears throat> you guys don't you you don't believe in yourself. As a man, and you don't understand because you don't understand your power, you're always going to think that another man's power might be more than yours. So you develop insecurity. Mm -hmm. But you have to understand that every dick that a woman has taken has prepared her for who she is to date. Exactly. And so if you find that she is a, like Lucario said, she's a good wife. She's fucking you like you want to be fucked. She's sucking you like you want to like you want to be sucked. She's taking care of your kids and she's keeping the house like how the house is supposed to be kept. And she respects you. Understand that whether you like it or not. The woman that she is today has been molded by the powers of other men. Mm -hmm. Now, the, the only way, the only way that you can uh, wield that power is if you believe in yourself. Exactly. <clears throat> to, know, to know that you are the man who is here now. Mm -hmm. That's all that matters. Do you understand? Because even, even if she's never yeah. taken dick, even if she's never taken, let's just say you happen to find a, find a virgin, she still has been molded by her father to some extent. She right. still has been molded by every fucking yeah. male teacher that she's had thus far. She still by, uh, she still was molded by her male you know, coach for whatever sports team she played for in college or whatever the fuck. Mm. She has been molded, bro. So you guys are just worried mm -hmm. about the sexual past. Understand that men mold women. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. You have to recognize and respect the power of other men. Mm -hmm. And the only way to do that is if you recognize and respect the power of yourself. That's a fact. Let me, let me piggyback off of what Miles said and, and call her. And for all you guys listening that are insecure about sex, you don't mold a woman with your dick. You're over there mentally. Exactly. exactly. You get her here. Here. Yeah. So it don't matter how good your dick is. Good sex can only keep a woman interested so long if you can't reach her here. Mm -hmm. So they they worried about the wrong shit. They worried about how many how many dicks you had, how much sex you had, and y'all y'all don't even realize that the most important thing fuck fuck her sexual past. Yeah. You, you should be thinking about what what is your what is your past life. So I so I understand where you're coming from, and and then have you understand where she needs to go now based off of your instruction. That's right. what it is. That's all it is, bro. See, call her, call her, call her. No, I just, call her, call her. I discovered, call her, call her. Listen, listen, listen. You have to understand something. I discovered something the other day. I, I, I googled what what kind of genetic information does the sperm hold. Did you know that every every uh, female egg only has X chromosomes in it, and it is the sperm that has an X or a Y? Did you know that? No. Okay. Well, that's a. Fact. He doesn't know what you're talking about. <laughs> it, is it a fact? It, it is a fact that it is the sperm it, 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 that decides the sex of the baby. So it's literally the male. Uh, the male um, it comes from the grandfather. Yeah. Cell, the male cell that just literally decides the future of the fucking world. 
Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? The problem with so many of you dudes, which is why I created a masculine identity membership, you don't respect masculinity at all. Mm-hmm. So, so when the woman gets to you, your insecure ass is worried about all the men from before when yeah. you're supposed to be focused on yourself. Because here's here's all it really is, guys, whether you realize it or not. All it is is a relay race. And when the bitch gets to you, that's the, the bitch is the baton. Hey, here you go. Hey, here you go, Miles. Here you go, Miles. We waiting on it. <laughs> Pass the bitch. Pass the bitch. Come on, hey, there you go. <laughs> 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 we we, we, we put the stick. <laughs> See, let me tell you something. If you if you look if you look at the anatomy of a relay race, if you look at the anatomy of a relay race, right? Is the, is the racer yeah. even worried about the actual Whoa. baton, or is he more worried about putting his hand out and being ready to run as fast as he fucking can with, with the right form and with the right speed and intensity? He's not even looking at the fucking baton. Mm-hmm. That's what we try to tell y'all. The game, the, the baton is the female, but the runner is not even looking at the baton. All he does is he sticks his hand out. He has a technique. He perfects it. Guys, I've, I've ran track, and I know that for relay races, you mm-hmm. have to. Mm-hmm. I know. I ran track too. Yep. Yeah, me too. You gotta make a Y. When, and then whenever you feel the fucking baton hit this part, you get the grip, mm-hmm. right? And then wh- you don't look at the fucking baton. You just focus on your technique of, mm-hmm. of catching the grip. And then you run as hard and as fast as you can with the correct form. Miles, how many guys held the baton before you, though? <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> yeah, that's, that, that, that matters. You, you're not going to be able to win the race if you don't know. <laughs> I got to know. The runner, the runner, the runner. Look, caller, 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 caller. Listen, the runner that is holding the baton, he is not focused on anything else but running his leg of the race with precision and, and as per- close to perfection as he can. That's what I'm trying to explain to y'all. Mm-hmm. It's not about the baton. It's about you. 